show you. Here's my, this is my camera. I'm a new photographer. This is a uh, 18 to 55. Is that right? Uh -huh. Yep. Uh, so this is um, this is what I use. It's the only one I I have. Is that okay. a good one to use? It's not. <laughs> I hate to say it. <laughs> <laughs> no, but there are. Actually, I know. <laughs> I'm like, oh, how am I going to get out of this one? <laughs> well, I need a new lens. <laughs> yeah, this is going to be a very expensive uh, interview for you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, why don't I share my screen and we'll talk okay. a bit about this. Yeah, will, sure. Uh, let me so, pull yeah, up so I just, uh, this is, uh, uh, I just kind of got it playing around with it and, um, you know, the camera you have is the camera that you should be using. So this is yes, what I have. And, and I'm glad that you're here that you can share with me what I should be getting. I'm hoping the body's okay. Yes, the body's great. Is it an X-T3? Okay. Yep. Yeah, I have that too. It's a, it's a wonderful lens. Um, okay. So, and I, I could, this is, this will overlap a little bit with the cell phone pictures. Um, so I'm going to show you a little bit of a difference here using one of the cell phone pictures, picture situations I pulled. Um, this is the same horse. The first picture was taken with my cell phone, which, you know, I'm not sure what the millimeters are on, on cell phone, but cell phone's a wide angle lens pretty much always. And the one on the right was taken with a professional lens, a longer zoom. And the problem with the wider angle lenses, which yours is considered is, um, wide angle makes near things larger and far things smaller and the a longer zoom lens is going to make the near things more proportional to the far things and you can't actually get such a long lens that you have a weird distortion the other way where the back end is too big but because of how long and just long horses are you need to be at at least 85 millimeters or higher to get a proportional photo of a horse, especially when they're facing you. If they're off to this, if they're parallel to you, if they're to the side, then you don't need to have the longer lens. But and really, so this one here, uh, I shot at 85, and and the I gray horse, the gray horse. I would say that is the shortest I would want to go um, for a portrait. You know, for there's all sorts of things I'll do with you know, an 18 to 55 or whatever. But, you know, if we're really talking, wanting to take beautiful proportional pictures of horses, you're looking at um, an 85 or higher or making sure the horse is always parallel to you. Um, but my your ideal lens is going to be a 70 to 200. Now for your Fuji system, because it's a cropped sensor, the, the ideal lens for you would be the 50 to 140. Um, it's it's kind of spendy. So there's probably other, you know, longer zooms in, in available for the, I think there's like an 18 to 135 that people think is pretty good. And that would get you, you know, on the long end of that, that would get you the amount of reach and compression that you need for good horse pictures. So here's another example of, um, and I couldn't find two that were exactly like in the same spot, but you get the idea. It's the same horse, same girl. But here um, I'm using a 35 millimeter and look how large the horse's hind end is. That's because it's near the camera at 35 millimeters. And then here at 200 millimeters, you can see that the butt is in proportion to the head um, and the girl also looks more proportional for herself. Um, you know, you can play around and do some creative things with wide angle like this one where I specifically chose a 35 millimeter lens because I wanted to show all that blue sky. And then I just made sure to not have the horse too close to the lens and at more of a parallel angle to my lens rather than coming straight at me. Wow. Oops. Interesting. Thank you. I'm trying to trying to close this. There you go. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, so the you thirty-five millimeter lens, if you're doing parallel, standing parallel to the horse, mm -hmm. and then something a longer lens, so that yes. everything stays more equal proportionally. Yes. 
Yeah, and 35 is, I mean, really any lens up to that proportional lens. You know, like there's times actually when I'll use a 50 millimeter, again, if I'm keeping them in parallel to me. It's when the horse is facing me that I really want to be at that 85 or higher. And I can personally see a distortion when people do headshots at 85. So I try to be, you know, more at 100. I mean, 200 is really is really beautiful as far as focal lengths. And I even have a 150 to 600. And I took photos one time and I was like, man, why does that horse look so fat? But I was at 600 millimeters and it had compressed the proportion of the horse so much it made him look fat. It was really weird. So that's getting into some, I think, pretty technical stuff to really understand how the camera works. But that's important if you want to uh, make some lovely photos. Yeah. And it even translates to cell phones because like my iPhone 12 or 11 has um, three different modes. It has a super wide, you know, the normal, and then it has a, a lens that's a little bit of a zoom. And so if I'm going to photograph, you know, take a quick horse photo with my phone, I'm going to pick that two times zoom to try and get a little more proportion out of my cell phone. So, you know, the principles there, whether you're, you know, a professional or not, the longer your lens, the better the horses look with the takeaway. Oh, that's a, that's a, that's a good rule of thumb. The longer yeah. the lens, the best, better the oh, horse. There we go. So, yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah. heading out and going to be taking some photos. So Fine. are you going to be doing that too today? Yeah. I'm going to, I think I'm going to wait till sunset and, um, cause Oh, actually, no, I'm not waiting till sunset. I have another idea. I am hoping to get out with my drone today. I have a drone, a photography drone, and I was, I did have a commercial license and I let it slide because of COVID and everything. So, but I can just make this personal picture and then I'm totally within my uh, legalities to do it. But I have a shadow idea because everyone's gonna expect me to do a silhouette. And if my shadow idea fails, then I'm, I'm down with a silhouette at whatever, 4.30 when the sun, sun goes down now. Excellent. Okay, so if you have any uh, questions or comments, please, Please send us uh, or respond on this video. It's going to be, uh, you can watch the replay and share it. If you have some um, ideas or know of people who would like to get some of the tips that are here, you're welcome to share this video. And um, last words, Shelly? I don't know. Everybody stay well and go out and have fun taking pictures. That's what this is really all about is having fun and making art. Yes. Now go use this stuff and go hug your yes. horse and take pictures. Yes, go hug your horse. <laughs> Thanks, Nell. Bye.